Hello and welcome back to Princess Pudding Plays. So today we are back on the uh, Neverland Island with, I believe my character's named Amy on this one. Um, thanks, Isabel. <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to show you guys the progress I've been making so far on the Neverland slash catalog island. Um, so without further ado. Hmm, this is a bop. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we gotta throw this out. We gotta throw that out. No, let me take all the Imperial stuff. Um, so yeah, just showing you guys what's going on with the Catalog Island um, and show you guys a little bit of how I'm doing it. Um, if I say um one more time, I swear to God. I can't even like, I catch myself doing it and it's like, ah, it's not bad. But then when I listen to myself in recording, oh, it's bad and I hate it. So, are you serious? So, this is what we have so far. Um, I want to put a different fruit up here. I want to try, I like peaches the best, I mean I guess everyone does, um, but I want to try and put every fruit on this strip so when you come over to catalog, if there's a fruit you're missing, you can grab one. Um, but then you can come in and here's the pathways and you can see all the items and then yeah, pretty much all I have so far. Other than my tarantula horde that's just sitting over here that I need to sell because I'm running out of the monies. So let's let's open all of these up because I don't remember which colors are what. Yeah, see that's blue. Look at the steam coming off of it. Uh, yeah, okay, so just checking out what colors these are before I plop them off in their spots. I think the Imperial dining table and the Imperial chair? are not the same set so I think that's it Imperial no I didn't mean to do that I wanted to leave the red one behind no place okay so that's red is there any more blue stuff that's a low table it's a dining table dining chair Imperial dining chest. Those are all gonna be red. So these are all green. Let's go, I guess, place all this stuff in here then. Oh, I'm. Low table, chest, bed. Okay, so drop that. Drop that. Drop that. And... Okay. Well... That doesn't really take up a lot of space, so maybe... It's only gonna be four items and then I'm gonna use the partition, I guess? As the display? Hmm. I'm gonna have it all together, so... 
yeah, I could drop them off, like, here and there, and then, so let's place that. Okay, and then, drop, drop, and drop. And then let's order another another imperial partition. Red, blue, brown, and black. Red, blue, brown, black. Oh. Okay, I see. Do I not? Yeah, red, blue, brown, and black. Um, place another order for the red one. Place another order for the blue one so we can have one down and one is display. Um, gold, black, blue, and red. I don't have the decorative shelves and I don't have gold, black, blue, red. Okay, so now we're adding the shelves and the lantern to the... Ah, it'll, it'll still fit pretty good, I think. Um, We'll put red in here. No, wait. No, what? <laughs> um... Okay, so here's the partition. Let's get the Let's get that in here, I guess. So let's place that dining table. Hmm. I guess we'll just place the two dining tables and the two types of chairs in here like that. Okay, cool. Um, so, no, yes. We'll drop that in here. Imperial bed. So now we just need to get that table again, but I think we're out of orders for today. And then place the red, like, can I, the other way maybe? Okay, cool. Trying my best to be fairly consistent. So I don't miss anything. It is really difficult so far. Um, how do I want to do this? I guess like that. And I think it's three across, so like that. And then plop like that, and then I don't know, is it three? No, it's not. It's definitely one less than that. Okay, cool. And then bam. So 
that would be for the blue, red, and then one more like that, and then like that. This is honestly so therapeutic though. And then some of these are weird, like this, where I'm not gonna be able to fit a perfect deal. So this one's just gonna have to be a little larger. I believe, yes, no. No, cool, great. Yes, they're all the same size, it just looks strange. Um, heck yeah, okay, perfect. So this is now when we would time travel to the next day. So, I can't help myself, I have to. And then, One more. What are you doing? It's so therapeutic to build all these walls up. Nice. Okay, so this is yes, when we time travel to the next day because we've already run out of items we can order in a day, so. Um, Go ahead and pull up that fun fact again for you guys. I am working on new fun facts to trade out the ones that we have. Um, because I know if you're watching these every day, you've probably already seen this one. However, maybe you haven't. So, who knows? We're just going to have to find a happy medium. Well, no, I can't. No, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, back in. Um, so yeah, you probably have seen this one already, but I'm trying to find a happy medium of reusing the same ones just because it would be ridiculous to have a brand new Animal Crossing fact every single time. But, because I don't expect that you guys are actually reading any of these every time or seeing every video, so. Gotta reuse. And this is also, I feel so much better than having to like edit out every time we have to wait just because that was, or that would just be too taxing and then it's better than just listening to me complain that it takes so long. I know that it's not necessarily that they I don't know. They're not not letting you time travel in Animal Crossing, and they don't necessarily discourage it, but they definitely don't want you doing it as a way of grinding. They don't want you to grind the game. They want you to enjoy it the way you would like to, because everyone's different. Oh, wow. I'm sure you guys could hear that. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I know they probably don't want you to grind the game out, but I wish they would add something in the game where it would make it a little easier to time travel just because this does take forever. <laughs> okay, and then we'll grab up. Come on. We'll grab up what we ordered. The chessboard, I think I'm gonna group with something else just because it's only two things. It'd be a little ridiculous to give it its own space. Um, well, crap, I don't know which color's which. That's the hardest part about cataloging is that 
really is color dependent, so. Sweet. Oh crap, I gotta check the other thing too. I should have done that. Imperial Dining Lantern. I'm pretty sure we got the blue one. So we don't need to check that. Wrap. We're gonna have to go inside and check what color these are. <gasps> what? I was so busy with the fun fact. Didn't even know we had a campsite villager. Let's see who we didn't know. That's okay. I'm sorry. No. Uh. <laughs> oh. No! No! You're not allowed to leave. You're a treasure. You have to stay. So let's check what color this is. Hang on, ball. Blue. Hang on, wall. Blue. Oh no! Squash the laugh out of him. Uh, I see that we're coming up on time, but let's drop these things off before we call it a day. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have friends that also enjoy the Animal Crossing content, send them our way. We're definitely looking to expand the Animal Crossing community and share tips and tricks and eventually invite many people to come over to catalog on our catalog island. Um, but with that, that is the end of the video and I will see you guys next time on Princess Pudding Plays.